Welcome back guys, Capcom has just released a very weird update for Dragon's Dogma 2. This is its update log. Change the options in graphics within the options menu to prioritize graphics and prioritize performance. Basically two graphics presets have been added. In this video I'll be testing the game on my ROG ally running on Windows 11 and Steam Deck running on Steam OS. I'll be testing the game in the city of Vernwald, known for its performance issues. We'll be running the game without any frame generation technique. Checking out the game's base performance, we'll be comparing the game's prioritized performance preset with the game settings where everything is set to low, disabled. My life is running on BIOS version 441. For this game, I've set the UMI buffer size to 7GB, installed AMD's latest GPU driver, and turned in version 24.9.1. Using a 30 watts manual profile, all 3 power values set at 30 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled, connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Start the game on Ally. Adrenaline settings for the game. Free sync enabled. That's it. We sync off. Using Adrenaline's overlay to show you the performance metrics. First, I'll run the game with minimum settings. Everything set to low. Graphics. 720p resolution. We sync off. FSR3 upscaler enabled using its balance preset. This game is not only demanding on the CPU but also on the GPU in the city area. Game is mostly CPU bound. In the open areas, it's mostly GPU bound. Processor gets hammered from all sides. Army grades only. Effects disabled. Texture quality set to low. Everything set to low. Shadow cast setting enabled. It actually helps in improving the game's performance, FPS stability. That's it. I'll set to load the one fourth area. There's a character. I purchased a house in Burnford. Serves as a save point. My pawns. Three of them. I'll just explore the area on foot. Here FPS is around 30. Now I'm in the marketplace. Very demanding area. Might reveal of interest. 30 FPS. Yeah, the game CPU performance has been optimized via updates. VRAM usage is around 5.6 GB. I just leave this place. Entrance of Onewath is very demanding. Expect a few FPS drops. Near this ox cart, 28 FPS, 27 FPS, yeah. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Big open world. Here FPS dropped down to around 26. Audio is not stuttering though. You can play the game this way. Not the ideal experience, but yeah, the game is what playable. Tale, the Can enable any frame generation technique to increase the FPS. There will be some graphical artifacts. I'll just enable AFMF to here. Frame generation status active. Search mode set to high. This prevents frame generation from getting disabled during fast visual motion. Performance mode quality. Back to the game. FPS increased to around 50. This is with frame generation. Again, not the ideal experience, but <laughs> still better than nothing. It's free after all. Just take out this creature. Oh my god. Now I'll test the game's performance mode. Disable AFMF2. Graphics settings, graphics quality, prioritize performance, prioritize graphics. On Ally, I'll be selecting prioritize performance. These are the settings that come with it. FSR 3 of scale is set to balance. You can change its preset entirely up to you. Editing off, of course. Texture filtering set to medium. Texture quality set to high, 1 GB. Low settings. They have Enable some effects as you can see. And that's it. This is the prioritized performance preset. 
repeat the same sequence and you can see the VRAM usage increased to around 6.6 .6 GB if I had set the EMI buffer size to 6 GB game would have ended up being a stuttery mess with these settings roughly the same performance 30 FPS image quality is looking slightly better it is if you want a more stable experience just drop everything to low disable the effects the sight of Yonok's car has brought all my fatigue to the fore. Shall we come on the board? They can be most 26 to 30 FPS. I'm showing some texture pop in issue. 23 FPS. So this is Capcom's Pride has performance preset. Now I'll be testing the game on Steam Deck. See what happens. My Steam Deck is running on SteamOS version 3.6.18 beta build using G Proton version 9-15 as the compatibility layer for this game. Connected my Cosmic by Stellaris gamepad to tech via Bluetooth mode. I am surprised that this game still does not support FSR frame generation. Capcom added support for DLSS frame generation, but no FSR frame generation. DLSS frame generation is exclusive to RTX 40 series GPU. But this is not the case for FSR frame generation that works on literally any GPU. We had corporate decisions. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Performance QAM settings only level set to 3. Frame limit set to 60, that's it. In game settings. I would not recommend using the prior test performance preset of this game on Steam Deck. It may cause the game to crash. On ROG Alive, we saw VRAM usage increased to around 6.7 GB. Let's see what happens. 800p resolution. I'll set FSR 3 upscalers preset to performance. And that's it. There's a character leaving my house. Okay, here FPS is within a range of 13 to 20. We are not hitting the GP bottleneck, so the game's performance seems to be limited by the single core CPU performance. In the marketplace, FPS dropped down to round 11. Very variable. Yeah, this game is just too much for Steam Deck. This is Capcom's prioritized performance preset. printing around 11 to 18 fps so i'll just drop the settings to low disable all of the effects hopefully it will improve the performance game settings fsr 3 upscaler set to performance ambient occlusion off other effects disabled as well texture quality set to low 0 gv shadow cast setting enabled motion quality set to low that's it load the same sequence there's a character here fps is close to 20 i'll just head to the marketplace to get the texture shimmering going on in the background lowest settings oh my god i can count the individual pixels oh no fps dropped down to around 13 and this is not playable game is running like a slideshow this game still needs a lot of work. It looks so ugly on the lower settings. Still runs like trash. I have seen some PlayStation 3 games look better than this. In the open area. Now we are getting around 15 FPS. 11 FPS. So I would not recommend playing this game on Steam Deck. I really hope Capcom adds. FSR 3 frame generation support to this game but they need to improve the base performance first this is not going to work that's it for the video guys i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day